Hey everyone, and welcome back to Move em Live. Today we have the great honor to meet the mighty Albir. And we are here at the Fiki Festival in Helsinki, and we're gonna talk about community and also how we can use the basic steps and style them in different ways depending on the music and the kind of style we want to dance. So you are so very welcome to Move em Live. Hey everyone! Thank you guys so much for coming. Albir, everybody knows Albir. Mm. We have also have Johanna, who is the organizer of the Fiki Festival. And Maria, who is Kizuma and Samba teacher from Hamburg. You're all very welcome. Thank you. So, before we go into the talking, let's do some dancing. Okay. You selected this first song. The first song, yeah. What, is, what does this song mean to you? Uh, it's mainly Ghetto Sug, but I love the energy of this song. It's nice, smooth. I don't know if they, you know, but I think you will like it. I yeah. think you will like it. Let's see if, the, if everyone would like it. Yeah. <laughs>
Perfect. Great, beautiful. So much fun, so much fun. <laughs> Okay, the Mighty Beer. It's a, I'm a big fan. It's a great honor to have you here. Mm, thank you, thank you. So, there is so much things we don't know about you. Uh, well, yeah. First, I think I'm not mighty. <laughs> but thank you. But thank you. Yeah, you know, uh, if, if you're humble, <laughs> people should notice it. Otherwise, it doesn't. <laughs> but work. I, or, or maybe yes, but it's because of the girls. Yeah. Because. If you are a good leader, it's not about, for me, it's not about show off. If the girl looks beautiful meanwhile you are dancing, then you can say you are good. But it's because of the girl, for me. It's not the way you, you, you enjoy because, because it's fun for you. And if you have fun, you will tra transmit that to the girl. Yeah. If the girl looks good, then you are okay. Yeah. So it's be mainly because of that. But you didn't start with couples dancing, right? No, I started with hip hop on the street. Yeah. But yeah. But How do you? What do you <sighs> think you bring from hip hop to the kizomba fusion and urban scene? Mainly, I think the the my well, my flavor. And I was talking once with uh, Eddie Vance, and I remember he he said, uh, "No, I'll be you because now the, of urban keys, you are changing your way." I'm like, "No, I'm still with my hip hop." But it's, it's true that I need to be with the, with the how you say, mod, la moda? Yeah, like with follow the, the your fashion, time, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's true because he, normally the way I explain is, is like you need to be like Madonna. Madonna, yeah, he, yeah, he started in the like 80s. Yeah, yeah. And Ooh. then she moved, 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 and she changed yeah. because oh, she yeah. needs to be there. Yeah. And for me, it's like that. But without losing the roots yeah. that's what i explained to people can you tell us a little bit how you see the future and how the future. community has changed and how it's going to change uh, in the future i will i will i will try to be honest but at the same night at the same time polite <laughs> <laughs> if there is not a unification of the styles people the energy i think it's somebody's not going to last too much that's oh. my opinion Oh. Because so now you're, you're seeing that we are we are um, heading towards uh, an no, abyss where we're gonna no, fall down and everything. No, not exactly is. that, but we are we are separating each other. No? So if we we are going to separate each other, we are not going to be to have a lot of strength. Yeah, and then is, we are going to get weak and maybe give somebody. It's not going to be lost, lose, lost. Lose la, 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 la. Well. <laughs> but, but we are going to lose strength yeah. if, we, if we don't have a unification. Do you mean the unification is needed for the community to grow? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. This, I can say that one sad thing that I'm watching in my, in my vision from the festival, for example, the artist, and yeah. I have to say, I'm, I'm like this, I'm honest. You can see when we are in a festival and we are going to have lunch for the artists. Artists, I mean DJs, teachers, yeah, like everyone. Everybody. For me, bring uh, artists is a table. lot of uh, everyone. Just the way we sit in the tables to eat. Oh. French people, they sit in one desk, in the one table. All the people, the uh, African, they sit in another one. Spanish people, we yeah. sit in another. You know, yeah. you can see in that, in that, but if we can mix, it will be better. Do you think it's more than a language barrier? Because, I mean, some, some <clears throat> French people have, like, no, if difficulty you, speaking no, English or something for me, like no. that. No, if you want to talk with people and to communicate with people, yeah. you can. Yeah. You can. You have many ways to. Good. Uh, yeah. And t t tell them. Sometimes they, the girls, I mean, yeah. Uh, for me, the experience I have, but she, they can tell as yeah. well. They don't know a guy, and they, they, a guy is talking like, blah, 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 but they don't understand anything. But the, when they start to dance, it's like oh, amazing. Yeah. I understood completely. You know, I have this, I have this experience of uh, going to countries where I, you know, cannot speak one single word with people, and I step out on the Kisumba scene, and and suddenly I can, you know, communicate. Without yeah, one. yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah. I and think that's the beauty. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's perfect. And, uh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Like so what happens? You started with street funk or hip hop? Or hip hop, hip yeah? hop. But it was like competitions when I was uh, in the school, uh, when, I, when college, high school, high school. Yeah. And then I started doing hip hop competition, but street competition. Yeah. Uh, I started like that. Like then, with, but not breakdowns. No, 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 not battles. No? I mean, doing choreographies, yeah. like prepare a choreography, yeah. three minutes, then a competition of choreographies. And it was in the high school, <coughs> sorry. And then I started taking classes, jazz, ballet, blah, 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 blah. And then we were in television companies, blah, and then I went to, to study to Spain. Yeah, and then I. And how did you? How did you sort of got the Kisumba bug? How, everyone, how did you get hooked? Uh, what yeah, happened? I was doing a Latin class. Yeah. Uh, Latin class includes bachata, salsa, many Latin dances. Like teaching uh, or taking teaching? Party? Teaching. Yeah? Yeah. It was on Fridays. I remember. And there was a black guy. I was amazed that there was a black guy in my class because in oh. Spain they are not too. Now, yes, but before there was not, yeah. not too much mix. And this guy, he came to me and he asked me, you know what is, they play Kisomba in here? I'm like, what is Kisomba? He said, I will bring you music yeah. next Friday. So he put it on and... And it's, it was done. He, yeah. I, I like it from Keisha. Ding, 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 ding. I like it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, boom. <laughs> and we can dance this yeah. in couple, bro. <laughs> Yeah, and you can hug as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it was yeah. It, for you was because the music, uh, it, that song when I heard it, it was like more or less like R and B. Yeah. In my so I was like, oh, and we can do couple dance with this, perfect. I want to start, but when I started, there were four videos on YouTube, just yeah? four. Wow. Now what there. What year was this? Uh, it was like six, seven years ago. Something no, like that, it was two thousand four. Two thousand and four. four. <laughs> Oh my God, I was <laughs> not even born. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 2004, it was. Yeah. 2004. Yeah, 2004. Oh my goodness, that's like there was 14, just, 12, 14 years ago. It was Tomás Keita, yeah. video, Cuenda, with Iris de Brito. It was Se Barbosa doing like instructional classes. Yeah. And there was one more. I think... Uh, no, this uh, Avelino. Uh -huh. I think it was Avelino also with a video. That's the, 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 the four that I saw, that I discovered. Wow. Yeah. And from then, how, did, how long did you dance before you started teaching? Uh, I started teaching in 2006. Yeah? So two years, yeah, because there was no Kisomba in Spain, so I went to Lisbon to learn. Okay. But I started teaching, and I have to be honest, I was really, really, really bad. Were you bad or when was I was teaching, I yeah. was like, mm. yeah. I saw the videos and I said, please erase that yeah. from the memory from everywhere. <laughs> <Because it was laughs> not. But, but you know, um, I would say that uh, training and passion and putting energy in what you love, it's going to beat talent any day of the week. Would that uh, would you agree with that? Yeah, but you need to work still. You need to practice. You need to train. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need. <laughs> you need to. Work, right? You need to. Yeah. And then you need to. Uh, for example, in my case, as a, as a lead, I need also to see some follows yeah. videos. Oh, yeah. And we, for me, it's not that they are here, but Maria, she was working with uh, Arnold. And Joanna, she's still dancing with Omar, but as a female, yeah. not just because uh, I don't complain, but I say, if you do lady style, because now it's famous the lady style, yeah. I tell the ladies, if you see one lady style video, try to look that girl a couple video, tell her to look for a couple video, and ah. try to see if she do exactly what she did in lady style yeah. in a couple. If she does, then it's good. If she doesn't, then it's just body expression, whatever you yeah. want to call it. Because when they dance, Maria and Joanna, they, you can see that her, their lady styling is, yeah. they apply to the Kisomba, the, the dancing, and it's like, oh, nice. Yeah. You can find a, find a lot of videos of Maria dancing with Arno and by herself, Joanna as well, and Joanna 
also she does she you dance with uh, Ronnie, you dance with yeah. a lot of uh, all lead dancers, right? Well, not lots, but some. <laughs> but she they, they are both they are amazing. And if But isn't that the beauty also that that <coughs> in, in this dance you, you have to sort of be compatible with uh, yeah. so many different partners and sort of listen and adapt your 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 style to of the partner. Of course, of yeah. course. But it's also like friendship. Sometimes yeah. it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. Like dance couple, like relationship. Yeah. Sometimes you have connections, sometimes not. Speaking about um, this um, friendships and making connections, you as an organizer, Johanna, what, do you, 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 ha you have worked on Albier for a few, for some time now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been, we brought you here three times, we just got yeah, now. Three times. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and hopefully in the future, many more times. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like you see in, in, in festivals, especially people travel nowadays a lot and they see, they found new friends in all over the world and they even find partners, they find all kinds of different kind of relationships and yeah. it's, it's really people want to move around and find new people. Yeah. Is that what drives you? Because I know you put a lot of passion into this, uh, into this festival. I'm like, hey, Johanna, I'm like, just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, Johanna, yeah, just a minute. <laughs> You're like, so it's a lot of passion that goes into this, right? And yeah, and in general, like this, when dancing is such a big passion for yourself, and you know how much it brings to your life and, and how much joy and energy and comfort and, and all, the, all it brings to you. And then you see when you can share that and give the opportunity to others to do the same, it's, it's priceless. Yeah. It's really nice. Is there a specific moment that you're looking for in a festival when you see that, ah, now it's done, it's, it's worth it, right? Do you, is there? Normally, I'm, I'm in general, I love watching social dancing. Yeah. Like, like a lot more than watching choreographies, I love watching social dancing because there is yeah. like people meet each other and they are in that moment and they yeah. are really sharing something beautiful. They're co connecting with the music and then you see people smiling and having fun and yeah. it's that that's amazing. Yeah, I've um, I have experienced the dancing high, right, and then as a dance teacher, I get an high like. 10 times more because I have to dance and also watch every single student. Is there also an organizer high? Is that even yes, higher? Yes, and also from the teacher high as well, like thinking that when you see your own students and that they go develop by, by little by little and you see like, oh, now, now you see them on the dance floor and now they've learned this and now yeah. they've learned that and they, you see them grow as, as, as dancers yeah. and then you share, share all the joy together on the dance floor. It's, yeah. it's super nice. Yeah. Cool. Maria, mm -hmm. so you are from Hamburg? Yes. You focus on um, Kizomba and Samba. Uh, Kizomba and Samba, yes. yes. And now it's organizing, yes. Is that also what drives you, what Johanna does? Uh, what drives me is the energy that is uh, coming out of the dancers uh, when you practice them and uh, this is the one thing that had really sucked me into the dances because before I did lots of other stuff, I did salsa very intensively but just for fun, everything was just hobby and my, my own free time. Uh, but Kizomba, it was a similar situation in my town, there was not much happening, there was one guy trying yeah, to organize. You out as well, right? At uh, 2010. I got into 2010, yeah. yeah. And uh, then there was this thing and nobody could explain it to me. I was like, ah, <laughs> I need to understand this. Mm -hmm. And uh, it got me, it yeah. just got me and it stayed. And it changed uh, everything happening, it changed my life and I'm still here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, when, I, when I talk to people yeah. that couples dancing, they all say the same thing, that their life changed to the better after couples dancing. Do you, do you find that as well in your own life and other people? Yes. Yeah? What yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> for me, okay. Okay, because for me, yeah, it changed my life. My, I learned with uh, quite some teachers, a lot of teachers, but my, my master is Quenda Lima. Yeah? Quenda Lima taught me not just Kisomba, but more than that. Nice. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, 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 yeah. all that kind of <laughs> yeah, energy and stuff. Yeah. 
and uh, to take some bad things and to try to work that inner part. Kisomba helps a lot when you need to just slow down, enjoy, have a good hug, a good yeah. connection, because it's different. You cannot get mad, and you cannot dance mad. In a, in a bad way, you cannot dance Kisomba. You need to have fun, you need to have a good connection, you need yeah. to be smooth, you need to be romantic, you, all these kind of really nice feelings. So you need to take away really the bad stuff and uh, so kisumba melts the stone in your heart yeah 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 but i think that's a really nice uh, explanation it melts your heart it melts everything inside yeah for sure for sure cool uh let's go into um the step we're gonna show the rule of three and a little bit of how you can be adapt that to be compatible with yeah. your partner and Okay. Do the melting really effectively <laughs> and, and all of that? Yes. So would you, uh, would you care to show the people at home? Yeah. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's, yeah, it's blinking, so you need another little push. Yes, yeah, I put me there just to handle. Uh, now you can listen to me. Okay, I'm going to try with Maria because she doesn't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try. Oh yeah. No, I you see. don't know. You don't know. <laughs> well, no, you don't know the step about we did yesterday. Okay. So. So. I mean, I mean. Come. I mean. Yeah. I yeah. Let's look like that. Yeah. Uh, this July, I took a training with Eddie Vance, and then uh, they he showed me this, and I use this in my class. The rule of three, yeah. but just in a line. Okay. So yeah. so make it easy. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, basic two, and basic two, basic two, okay? Yeah. But then... So if we, if we break it down a little bit, yeah, just, okay. to, just for, so that everyone can okay. join us here. You open. You, you will start with a little bit of opening. Yeah, that's it, then you cross. For yeah. me, it's important the connection. You will cross in front of yourself, right? Yeah, that's it, both of you, yeah. okay? You have the connection. It's not to put pressure, but to feel yeah. the leg of the where girl. Do you, where, do you, where do you start the connection? Do you start the connection like in, first, or do you do that in the, for in the way me, of doing that? There are many techniques, but for me, I start the connection in the belly, yeah. okay? If I have the connection in the belly, she, has a good, uh, she should have a good uh, balance. Yeah, and I should be also in my balance. So when I rotate my body and I lock my right arm, she should yes, open. You will, you will basically find her during during the opening up. You will That's find it. her leg, right? Plus the transfer yeah. of the weight, yeah. boom, to change. Okay. Yeah. Then before, after you place the weight, you have the connection with the right foot. She's with the left. She's going to follow you yeah. with that leg. Plus, my ar my right arm is going to be locked yeah. behind her back, and will make her transfer the weight. Yeah. And then we. So now we're standing on the forward foot. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Then we open again, and we need to make a pivot. So meanwhile, we transfer the weight. I'm going to tell Maria. Yeah, go yeah. back. Yeah. And here spot. you change your head, and there's something going on with the support hand as well. Right? Yeah. The hand, to make it comfortable, I go a little bit up with my left. Yeah. Plus, I go down with my right, so she's going to be... Yeah. If you, if you show your leading hand as well, yeah. you turn a little okay. bit so you can see your leading hand. If I do this, okay? I open, step, here, I raise, but also I let the right go so she's going to feel comfortable because if I'm in here, she's going to be too, yeah. too much compressed in this yeah. position. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Would okay. that be like a um, kisomba, samba type of styling as well? Yeah. No, or no, is it like completely a... kisomba, yeah. Completely yeah. kisomba, yeah. yeah. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, three, and four, four five, Six. I mean, we have yeah. three to the left, in this case, girls to the right, yeah. and then three more to the right, girls yeah. to the left. So yeah. we make six steps, okay? okay? Again. And how much time do you give the turn? Just one count. So it's... 
It's basically you're bouncing on. One count. That's it. Wow. But after what we'll, uh, we'll explain with the fusion. Okay. okay good. Five, six, sure. seven, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Six steps. But then we make another one. One, two. But we make basic two basic two to finish and you can practice like this okay, okay so, it's, so it's basically a way of opening up that's it and then taking her in easy yeah easy to restart good and then go back to the same and restart again so you can practice yeah. okay Great. but then can i explain now the fusion yeah let's okay. let's show it in full pace okay uh, one, Five, one time so we can six, see seven and one two three four five six seven eight and basic two three four five six seven eight beautiful okay okay so uh, when i teach fusion then having the roots the yep. base uh if i'm if i'm wrong you can you can tell me yeah. anything <laughs> yeah I just will, hit him or i something. will <laughs> love i will love to still learn okay <laughs> You can say, no, I'll be, it's better like this. You can both, eh? you can tell me. But then, if I apply the three tools that I teach in fusion, slow motion, syncopation, or touch, then we can fuse that root, that base, into something different. Yeah, cool. Then slow motion. <clears throat> slow motion mainly with the council musicality, if we use one, three, five, seven, yep. it's going to be easier. Then you have couples, one with five, three with seven. One and five. One, one two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and So it's and a hesitation one, two, in the opening up. Three, that's it. Five, six, seven, and, and basic two to finish if you want. Yep, sure. Yep. But imagine that we're doing three, three and seven. Yep. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and basic two to yep. finish. Okay. So you can. So you you prolong the turn in that case. That's it. Okay. Yeah, the turn in, in the in the second one like, with the three and seven. Wow. Yes, it. But that's ah. it. But depends on <clears throat> the count. You maybe you are going to cross. Maybe you open. Maybe you step. Yep. So it depends. It's just about how you transfer the weight to that foot. Even you need to turn, you need to step, or you need to cross. Okay. Yep. If we do touch, as you did now, exactly. Yeah, I was just <clears throat> starting to play with it, right? Yeah. Now. So in this case, it's better or easier to touch when you open. Yeah. Okay. One, two, touch and cross, touch and cross. Touch and cross, touch, cross, basic two to finish. Yeah, I see. Okay? Cool. And syncopation. So you do the turn with, so you prolong the turn also. That's it. Or you can repeat those touches. One, touch, 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 and then you go, and then touch, touch. Touch. Yeah, you can open as well. Pop, right, okay. Pop and basic too. Okay. Yeah, good. It's a it's a very useful step. But I see also that you give a little bit less styling yeah. now. So yeah, you because keep it down a little bit. I oh, because I in this case I open my body so I give a little bit more of air distance. Yeah. That's what that's then a little bit of technique of the urban keys. Yeah. yeah. They use more distance. Yeah. So I use the distance and I lock to use mainly the movement and the transfer yeah, of the yeah. weight. And since we are further apart, then this has not the same function. That's it. Yeah. Perfect. And also you will be a little bit more like... Up, and there's the go. That's yeah. it. Perfect. And syncopation, same yeah. step, but then you one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and basic two, two and you can use yeah. it, or yeah. one. <laughs> Perfect. That's <laughs> awesome. You see, yeah. because, and Maria now I'm dancing with her, she didn't know this. Yeah. And she's, the, her technique is amazing. And if I have a good root, then she will understand completely. Yeah. And the girl, because I understand, I understand the Kisomba and Semba part. 
because sometimes it's like, oh no, the guys from modern is like, no, you, you did wrong. It's like, no, bro, you lead bad. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> she will understand and you need to, to accept the energy of the girl, how she moves, how she yeah. steps. Because some of the girls, because they have this jinga, they, they walk the whole time. You need to reduce the step to make syncopation because yeah. if you do syncopation, maybe she's not go she's not going to understand syncopation. Yeah. She's going to, to understand a longer step. So you need to handle. But yeah. if she has like Maria, she has a good root. Yeah. Easy. Something yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enough with the back <laughs> scratching now. <laughs> So, uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you, since we have two amazing followers here, um, a lot of the um, things that we talk about with skills and the compatibility sort of weighs on the, cho on the shoulders mm -hmm. of the leaders. Mm -hmm. like, um, uh -huh. So, what you did in the class yesterday, which was, which was really nice, was that you were showing and also challenging the followers a little bit. Mm, yeah. Because, you know, if, if somebody says like, oh, it's easy to follow in Kitsumba. I would not agree with that. Mm -mm. Let that <coughs> maybe it's not, you know, like <coughs> very, you know, large yeah, no, movements no. like in other dances, but to get that to work mm. requires years of training, right? Yeah. And just showing up and just expecting everybody to like l yeah, teach you yeah. how to dance Kitsumba, I would, I would say that that's a little bit irresponsible for mm. the followers. Mm. Would you agree with that? <laughs> yeah. I would love to have a microphone. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's um, go on. <laughs> so the biggest job for the man basically is uh, steps, leading, uh, the technique, the musicality, put this all together. And for the ladies, it's not necessarily the same thing. For the ladies, it's, in, it's important to understand what could happen. Has your body experienced it already one time? Uh, or several times, depending on how fast you learn. And this is why ladies should go to class and also continue workshops and going to class and learning yeah. and training. Yeah. And then the most important part for ladies is to actually become reactive and very sensitive. Okay, We need to understand perfectly what techniques are there in order to read what is happening from the leader's side. And then what are the possibilities of us interpreting it also, yep. right? So it's not only reading, but then we also need to work on our body in order to learn uh, what movements, which part of our body, because yep. it's not the whole body that moves. Yep. It's not really happening in Kizomba, or cool. Samba, or Fusion, or Urban. Yep. So we need to learn how to isolate our body. Yeah? Yep. And for some, it comes very easy. They can do straight away, chest, tube, everything separate. Like um, <laughs> like a snake, yeah. But um, many many people have to actually train it very hard yeah. and very long. Yeah. So this is what we're challenged in. Would you would you like to put that thing on and uh, show us this step and what kind of sense you make of this step uh, 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 in terms of what you're saying right now? Uh, I mean, in possible the possibilities for the, the ladies. possibilities. Yes. Okay. Do you wanna do it with so, me or yeah? Wait, yes. So, my first possibility... Now we have the good side to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. the first possibility lays in how do I express my first movement when we're shifting the weight now in order to initiate the step, okay? Now it's the moment where I can decide, okay, I'm more rigid, okay? Yeah. I'm more on the like stiff side. Like turning right Just yeah. pump, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm transferring more in the urban fusion style. Or I'm coming from Kizomba Samba and I'm gonna go into my knee to in order to get my hip and my bunda out, okay? And then transfer my weight to that side. Yeah. But that, that would be challenging to not do it, like, try to, you know, like... <laughs> to, like to steer the pot. <laughs> yeah, because you, can, you might easily disrupt the leading. Yes, exactly. If you do that, like, too much or... Exactly. So I'm not disrupting the leading if I know how to isolate yeah. my body parts. Yeah. So if I can isolate at the end of my rib cage and your hand, your leading, uh, your guiding and hugging yeah. hand would be probably at the end of my rib cage, okay, yeah. which is right here. Let's place it and see uh -huh. where we are. Maybe. So here. anything I do below your hand yeah. is none of your concern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll come to you later. Don't you? You're not off the hook yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anything I do below 
yeah. uh, your hand, it doesn't bother your leading. It will yeah. not intervene with you. Yeah. What will intervene with you if I come? Yeah. Yeah. From, if, you, if I come in your zone. Yeah. But if I stay in my zone and yeah. backwards out, away from your zone. Yeah. I can I add to this? Yes. Like if I'm putting your weight on this leg, for example. Yes. And you are styling your weight on the other, that's yes. gonna obviously also be a problem for them. Yes. Lady. Yeah. But in this situation, I think you should lead it. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I, I mean, would not do it by myself. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the uh, extensive lady styling that you might see in, in lady styling videos where the lady actually moves her weight a lot. Yeah, so... And uh, that would be unpractical if I want to go that way and you go yeah, that okay. way. Yeah, okay, so from my understanding, uh, there's two things. There's body movement and there's styling. Yeah. Okay, but because of terminology in dancing and generally, it's usually called lady styling. So body movement for me is natural movement yeah. uh, that happens because I walk yeah. and then maybe I enhance it a little bit. Okay, so in Kizomba, if I walk like this, it's considered body movement. Yeah. Okay, but if I start walking like this, it's already styling because I add it yeah. on top a movement. Add some if sprinkles I sprinkles on top. <laughs> yeah, right. if I do <laughs> whatever it is, yeah. that is styling because yeah. it's artificial movement or additional movement that is not necessary to walk this way. Yeah. Yeah? Like it's not it's not in the in the wheels and the mechanics, it's more exactly. with the art. Yes. So for yeah. me this is the difference. And then uh, depending on which style you dance in the Kizomba umbrella, yeah. you will have more body movement or more styling or a combination. Yeah. And this will be the expression uh, that we ladies then That's great. Let's construct. let's 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 get uh -huh. through this. You had one variant that was more like a Clean. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Would you also listen to the le what leader gives you here, or are you? I choosing? have to listen yeah. to the leader. <laughs> I mean, okay. are you choosing this, or is that some kind of lead? Um, so I can choose my possibilities yeah. depending on you as the leader. Okay. If I feel you are more an uh, urban inspired person, I will not give you my whole jinga uh, samba attitude. Yeah. It makes no sense because then I'm disconnecting and from you. Like I'm not synchronizing with you. Okay. Yeah. So the first step as a lady, as a follower, uh, what I do is I feel your energy, I try to synchronize with you and I, I expect the same from the leader's side. Yeah. And then uh, from there, there is a range of possibilities and movement yeah. that I can execute. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's well said, don't you think? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are here. Yes. We are here in the turn. Do you have any yes. possibilities so, here? <laughs> yes. I'm going to propose my interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> so sure. I'm releasing my knee to push out my hip and my bunda. I just a step because it's a complicated situation. Then here again, I go into my knee to push out my bunda and transfer the weight into a bent knee over here and continue the stepping and connect again. Yeah. However far we want to go. Yeah, and and also uh, also how I'm taking the turn will will inspire you to do different exactly. routes here. Exactly. Yes. Now. Depending okay. on your energy, I will okay. interpret it differently. Yeah. Good. That's fantastic. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I'm blown away. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Come up. Stop resting. Okay, great. I think that people at home have a lot to think about now. Yeah. And uh, to not overload people, let's take the other song. Yeah. The other song, uh, you for example, LG, I like. Yeah. Uh, put it on and we all, we don't have to think about Sorry it. Sorry for the put it, put it, put it, put it, Okay. Yeah. I think it's now. Okay. Uh, it's LG. Uh, LG? I, I love LG. Yeah. The One of the first songs that I listened uh, was Beware and uh, the dance Akisomba. And uh, people. In uh, now I have to, I have to, sorry, uh, but I have to say this. I'm like this. I, talk, I said I said it before. I said it before. 
But I love the humbleness the, the, of this guy. Before, He's like, yeah. I understand. If I if if the DJ is playing kisomba, I need to dance kisomba. But if this the LG start mixing the kisomba, well the the tarachina ghetto soup, and he put a little bit of flavor of dubstep, I'm able to express in a dubstep style. Dubstep is wah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 because that's the that's the fusion now with the music. Oh, yeah. He's playing uh, now uh, Nelson Freitas with uh, Richie Campbell, the Break of Dawn. Richie Campbell is a fusion artist and he's singing dancehall. And there is a flavor of dancehall in the song. And there is a musical bridge that has Richie Campbell singing completely dancehall in that ghetto soup. Why I cannot put yeah. a flavor of dancehall? If they complain, they don't not make those songs. <laughs> yeah. But you because know that for me it's like that. But you you see that if we take bachata, for example, uh, a song has very clear different flavors in the yeah, same song, the, right? Yeah, that's it. For example, one of the first one was uh, Aventura. Well, now uh, Romeo Santos, but when he started with Aventura, yeah. he was uh, mixing the, the hip hop, and then Aventura was uh, singing with Usher, the, the R&B singer. Yeah. So you have nice fusion. So if the music is fused and gives you that energy, in my opinion, you can express. Not the whole time, because you have parts. You yeah. have the, the chorus, and you have the, the verse, you have the ending, you have some parts that you can express. Yeah. And for me, that's the, the good fusion. That's to, to interpret it in a good way. For example, you have salsa. But salsa, sometimes you have mambo, and then suddenly you have like a rumba part, and then yeah. you need to do rumba. And then start again with the, with the mambo and yeah. the, the, or New York or And you whatever. have to know about it, right? Huh? And you have, you have to know about it. Yeah, and you have it. to know how to adapt to that. Yeah, that's, yeah? It. that's it. Okay, good. Now, let's dance uh, this. The, the yeah. last song. This, yeah. this song is made by, produced by LG. And it's a mix now. The, in Brazil, they have one style that is uh, Brazilian funk. Brazilian it's funk? Funk. It's like... Can you dance um, Kisumba to that? <laughs> okay. In the future. Okay. Sorry to try because, to... Because now you're going to... Can you play and then I... Well, we will, we, okay. we will play it when we dance. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. and then uh, there are some parts that they use. I'm going to say, no, in yeah. the video. Like, yeah, yeah you when you see, see the finger, you know what to look for. It's like yeah. the, the, the Brazilian funk yeah. flavor. So you, you have, and then at the, the end, more or less, the musical bridge, you have like a Brazilian chorus. Yeah. Huh? Some, some people Fantastic. sing it. It's like amazing for me. Good. Thank you so much for coming. Albir, Maria, and Johanna. Uh, thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you. You have been watching Movem Live. I'm your host, Morten Einer. And if you like what you see here and hear, you should consider subscribing <coughs> down there somewhere. And also click that little bell button, and you will get a little pling every time something awesome like this is happening. Can I, can I make some advertising? Yeah, yeah. And now, for some advertising. Okay. Also, you can see the streaming live classes in albirrojas.com. Albirrojas.com. That's it. And you can access there. We have many choreographies, streaming classes, offline classes. We have everything in there, so you can yeah, see okay. also there. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. And, and I have to come to, uh, to, to Madrid, and you, so you can show more of your, Whenever of you your can. Uh, Whenever awesome you online want. content. Perfect. With that... We leave you. Say, say that. LG. LG. Cordamos. Corda. Was. Contarata. Media. Was it good dia? Segunda feira. Ma boy, can you? Do you know? Última coisa, como tá lembra, é bom Daí no mundo, tá fazendo sala, é uma carana William tá fazendo falar, mas um anão É me imitado, tá cantando, mano, calema 
Le terminal de rouge et carafe, le gogo, ma nègre, ma tzara agua. Pas qu'il y ait des bibles sur le rock, c'est pour Le VIP vient de Hollande. Cana, 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 cana. Je comprends ta petite chair de cana. Déjà, le pauvre, j'en quatre consigues, il me fallait la bla 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 que nina tinha que chavo e de entrar Quem na bebedeira acho que exagera Era sexta-feira, mas hoje concorda O que precisa te lembrar? Não acaba aquele clube Oh yeah Está na nossa criou Oh yeah Não acaba aquele clube Clube, clube, oh yeah Merca de um trap, nós não tem globo Lembra, manta, lembra tu Onde não passa sabe, não cabe bem muito Quem corta a gente anda lá, só que te me vê Ele curte e as carecas, ele vai me passar o teu Cama, 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 cama Hoje um corda na sua cama O que não faz é que até dá pra falar Vimos um mama Vem de você com ser que já me quer te aguentar Hoje que a nina tinha que acabou de entrar Quem na bebedeira acho que não exagera Era sexta-feira, mas hoje concorda O que precisa te lembrar? Não acaba aquele clube Está na nossa criou Não acaba aquele clube Clube, clube, oh yeah Merca de um trap, nós não tem clube Look about the club. 